Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 by Blood Alone DLC in which we're playing as everyone's favorite historical Swiss nation, the Swiss. But we've just gone ahead and finished up uh, American Industrial Investments. Of course, if you'd like to read that again, please go right ahead. But the United States will invest in Switzerland. These investments will help us improve our economy and allow us to resist any hardships that fascism may cause upon Switzerland. It will also bring our nations closer together, maybe even in direct opposition to fascism eventually. It's great news. The German Reich considers some British neutrality. Quite worrying, but um, we could take a stance as well, or we could share a spy network. So the UK's goal is the same as ours, to keep fascism at bay, and we don't need to antagonize a German Reich to achieve it. Switzerland has access to experienced operatives that can blend themselves into German, Italian, French societies. We can lend that edge to Britain, which I think or, is before as well, but, you know, whatever. Also right now, the Germans have gone to war with the Soviet Union, and the Americans have just joined the Allies. So we have that going for us. Um, we're still working on a lot of stuff here. We'll ask them for guarantees. Publicly appease them. Uh, and we will do offer intelligence support later on to them. But let's just go ahead and improve our relations for now. Because I want to see the Germans struggle a little bit more. Publicly appease, publicly denounce, concessions to them. Well, I mean, we are pretty good for this. We are still losing some s support every day. Well, we, because of this guy, but... <clears throat> overall, it's not bad. Uh, we, we have a trade deal with these guys, too. Concessions, we'll improve it by 25 immediately, which is okay. Um, show defensive force. If I click on this, will it do anything? When removed, it should improve our relations. Should, at least. Give it about one more day. That back channel negotiations will improve our relations as well. Should do okay overall. 29 days. You know what? We can do concessions for now. 68. So be it. You know. I want to buy a little more time. You know, our divisions are really not bad, but because of our current modifiers, we can't do very much with a militia. But we'll take a stance. Fascist Germany possesses the most disgusting and miserable political system. The German Reich is a mortal enemy of the new Switzerland. That's why we must make our stand and defend our democracy by any means necessary. So we will can't or can eventually remove Swiss uh, neutrality. But, you know, we'll see about that. And we do have some comms to go through as well. It's 1941. It's almost 42. Got some recon. And I didn't realize that it gives you a recon, but it adds it by 200%. So, it should be a little bit of heftier recon, but even though it's not that much more, it's basically probably the same amount of stats that we had before, but I want to grab some entrenchment, because entrenchment's going to help us out. Um, so, comments included, um, uh, amazingness. I like how you're reading so much and talking. Look forward to that next. Someone says, can you do the secret pact with the allies instead of joining the allies? I think it's a more historical focus. So, uh, I w I'm pretty sure this is not historical. Switzerland never joined the alliance or joined France, so we're going to do a secret pact with the allies. Switzerland's not ready for an all-out war, or even to openly join a faction, but we can be certain that we won't be safe with our friends, in order to defend our democracy in case of a surprise invasion. We can secretly meet with the UK and establish an agreement. We we'll promise to covertly support them, start preparing to join the war in exchange and protect us if we're attacked. Lay the groundwork? Oh, that's not bad. Arsenal of the Alps, it looks very good, but also the oasis of democracy. Uh, the enemies. Our democracy surrounds Switzerland. And so these, in, in these tumultuous times, we must stand firm in our commitment to our values. Switzerland and its democracy are inseparable, so there's no point in surviving as a country if uh, our democracy perishes in order to defend it. Expert saboteurs. Volunteer force. Eh, that's all right. Wow. Air volunteer cap. We're not at war yet, but the Swiss people are ready to fight for democracy. We're going to be seen as in breach of neutrality, but as a democracy, we can have to control where people will go and where they will fight. So we can quietly encourage taking up arms against tyranny in preparation for the rest of Switzerland openly joining the efforts. And lay the groundwork. In order to be ready for all-out war, we first need a good base. The infrastructure and transport networks of Switzerland must be approved and modernized. Only then will our systems be efficiently mobilized to the front. The UK has accepted our secret pact. Through our back channels with the UK, we've confirmed confirmation that they've agreed to our proposed secret alliance. From now on, they'll have the support against their enemies. And protect us if we find ourselves at the edge of being invaded. It doesn't mean that we're safe, though. The enemy can reveal their actions and see them as a threat. So, we must continue with the same caution we have shown so far while we are prepared for jumping into action. This is for the sake of our democracy. And Arsenal of the Alps, a precipitous peak. How heavily we fortify them in our knowledge of the terrain makes the Alps the perfect place to dramatically increase our military capacity and keep it if we really need to retreat. Fighting for the hills. At the end of the day, infantry is the most versatile element of our armed forces, and although Switzerland has always prided itself on their infantry, we've not fought a war in an almost century, so revisiting our infantry technology and doctrines is of the utmost importance. Thunder in the valleys, we're talking about tanks in the mountains. Armored warfare has no place in the mountains we are used to, but if we want to go on the offensive and attack our enemies before they can reach us, we have to quickly catch up and develop our own vehicles, if possible. But it is 1943, as the Germans are slowly losing. I will talk about fly over the mountains, but Italy just, like, flipped, and all of it completely flipped, from, like, fascist Italy to the Regno del Sud, who joined the Allies. Yugoslavia is now here. 
Um, they just went to war with Iran, which I don't... Is that historical? Also, so the Soviet Union is pushing the Germans back at this point, and uh, the Germans are now going to be very hostile toward us, which would be kind of interesting to see. Um, oh, some support. And they've really pushed into Romania, and even Bulgaria, so the Free France is slowly coming through here, too. We'll see what happens. I hope we can go to war, but fly over the mountains is the next focus we'll talk about. Uh, oh, well, I guess there's not much of a description here. Weapons of democracy. For the enemy does the unthinkable, we must be ready to do what is necessary to stop him. Even if it means using indiscriminate weapons of mass destruction that can rail, rain hell upon our foes, surely that would deter them from further atrocities. Uh, so government, hopefully not, but we'll jump in the action. Merely ten years ago, this would be beyond possibility, but the Swiss Confederation has made all preparations to actively, openly join the war effort. We've prepared our infrastructure, industry, and scientific institutions for all the conflict the likes of which we have never seen. The Swiss engine is humming and ready to roar into action, of course. Um, there's another core, be known as Alpine Confederation. Let's see what happens. We got three days left. They're on the defensive. They're not doing so great now. I would love to be able to just push in and just destroy them too, but, you know, we'll see, because we're not very historical right now. And what do they say? Do they say anything? They no longer consider us neutral, black news, as the German Reich. Now, since they're disdain for the Swiss Confederation, they've declared that we are a fair game for political wrangling and even conquest. We are un uncharted waters. Oh. Okay, well... I don't think we can just file them, can Yes, we can. And the Federal Council has been angered. Back to negotiations? Well, we don't really care. Can we get a guarantee from the Soviet Union? Uh, no, they don't. How about the Japanese? They don't like us. Okay, the Japanese pr promise to protect us. Very historical. Diplomatic cables have arrived from Japan, bringing excellent news. They have agreed to guarantee our independence, promise to defend us if anyone attacks us, including the German Reich. Interesting. And, of course, the UK has done the same thing, too. Um, well, okay. Even though, I guess at this point, we'll probably be on the offensive, which is fine with us. So. Iraq or Iran join the Allies. It's fine. Whatever. I um, wasn't really expecting that, but, you know, weapons of democracy. Sounds pretty good to me. Finish that part of the land doctrine. Um, so, we'll probably immediately join the Allies, because I don't think they can really hold up. My God, if this could just be clipped here, that's a huge, potentially huge pocket. They actually naval invaded Königsberg. Wow. Because we do want Vorlberg. We did ask for that. We do have claims on them, so... Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to do that much here, so... Uh, I'm going to break how historical we are. And we're going to do absolute neutrality goes bye-bye. We're going to do that. Um, and we're going to save. Guys, we're going to go on the offensive. Because their divisions are not looking super good. This is, ooh, no. They probably do okay to begin, actually. Let's go ahead and deploy the militias. In four days, we'll be ready to go. And they'll be at full strength. Declare okay, war on Iraq. And we'll do the. They join the Co Prosperity Spirit, okay. Interesting. So we'll be here for 30 days. Penalties will be increased. Organization is slowly coming up, and we should be able to move in. And we'll probably just join the Allies that way, because at this point they are going to slowly win. Parts of Prussia fallen, Königsberg has been retaken from them. Um, we're good to go. Well, that's probably a bad idea, but you know what? We'll do it anyways. All right. So yes, 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 yes. We'll join the Allies. War economy be nice. I would like to get rid of that bulk over here. Now, can we do anything here? Now, of course, we are fighting over river, which is not good. We no longer have neutrality either, which is nice. And we took Vorlborg. Yay! And now, we're in the Allies. Because at this point, oh my god, that is going to be devastating they lose all this. Oh, hello. Keep going, y'all. Do the best you can. I know we're, how many guys we lost. Probably quite a few guys. The Oz, we've done zero percent. If we can get at least Vorlberg, I will be happy. Encourage frugality, huh? Nice, nice, nice. And we're at, now we're running out of political power too, which kind of does kind of suck, but whatever. Oh come on! Oh come on! Oh, they took that top back. That's not good. So, how many casualties has everyone taken? Six point five two million. Wow. Um, UK has lost a million, India, Italy's on our side, Americans, America's on our side. So they have not lost, how did they not lose that many guys compared to the Germans, my goodness. You know, we're small airplane frames, that's fine. Oh, we are slowly expanding out, I love it. Um, Japan has done 
quite well in China, which is I think more than historical, but I could be wrong. They're taking that stuff too. Um, the Japanese are taking out the Philippines. Uh, the Americans have taken the, or the British have taken out Iwo Jima too, though. Uh, looking pretty normal all across the world because we are all in historical, so I did want to see what it would be like doing it like like this. Um, I'll go to that too. Save some manpower. Liberation of Warsaw. Oh, oh, a little pocket there. Oh, oh, nom 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 nom. nom. And this will be a pro probably a pocket soon too. Weapons of a democracy. What would happen if the Swiss were able to get Berlin? It was probably a suicide mission, but that's okay. Sometimes we need those. Essen Köln. Frankfurt. I did get all this stuff too. Uh, there's no point in the naval stuff since, uh, I mean, we don't even really have planes either. I think we do have a few planes though. We can't really do much with them. Uh, there you go. Go, my boys, go! Export saboteurs. We don't need to join the war, we can destroy enemies from within. Our intelligence agency can refine our operations that specialize in agitating and enhancing resistance in the territories occupied with aggressors or oppressors. Slowly chipping away into their power. Nice. Oh, that's actually getting in don't you? Leipzig. Hey, we've done how, what percentage? They have also for 7 million, Jesus Christ. We've done nothing, so. Good. Hey, nice, nice, nice. Romania's completely gone, which is good to see. France is slowly coming back as well. But they weren't expecting the Swiss to join the Allies. We have a little bit of manpower, too. We're still mobilizing. We're nice. Oh, the defensive spirit of Helvetia. And it's going to hurt us. Oof. It's fine, it's fine. I want Berlin. Of course, I want a lot of things, but whatever. Did they... So just for the Alta Conference. Um, they still have level 10 forts. They never got rid of those. What the heck, man? Bruh. I want y'all to hold real quick. Only guard the territory that is Swiss. Swiss held. The Germans, I just can't believe them being able to hold them out. They get a lot of manpower still. They have like eight guns, literally like eight guns. Nice weapons of democracy are very good. And then we'll do jump into action because we can. We call militia. No, we're good. Good God. Hey, at least we finally got four research slots. It only took us until May of 1943, but whatever. Yeah, the Soviets are slowly crashing in here. I'm surprised we haven't been able to crash over here any harder. But you know, come on, slowly get more France, please. See what you can do. We should have a little bit more planning, able to do whatever. And these guys are 40 combat with, so. And they do have engineers, recon, which actually gave us six recon. Uh, more we got logistics for size and attrition and supplies. Field hospitals too, just in case, so. These divisions are not bad whatsoever. How much more do we need? There, 61% over there. Fishy France is about to capitulate too. I don't think I'm going to take out the Japanese, though, just saying. They did guarantee us, I know, but still. Carrier frames would be nice, but whatever. Magdeburg. Berlin. They still own uh, Vienna, so even if we take Berlin, it won't be enough. Okay, hold on. There we go. Ah, uh, I want Berlin. No. It's always been a Swiss dream to have Berlin. I don't know if it is or not, but whatever. So for now. We're looking pretty bad in some areas here. Oh, we actually have a port! Finally, we've got a port of Switzerland. What well, they've always dreamed of. Just hold on real quick. We, I'm, I'm surprised we do have more. Yeah, that's up to you. It's not like we're really using this for very much here anyways. Not super concerned. Planning. Get this tile maybe. Get closer to Berlin if we can. Limit exports maybe? We need, we need more steel. And we're there. Liberation of Paris. Nice. Oh, that was in color too. Go straight for Berlin. Come on. Come on. We can do it. On, 
god dang it. I want you to force it. I don't care what happens. Uh, what else we got here? Nice. Come on. We got this. Enemy railway gun bombardment. Ah, yeah, basic here. Bruh. Come on, we can take it. Ah, we got him. Ah. Even though we still need Vienna, whatever, but still. Looking not bad. Budapest, Timisoara, allies here, access over here. Yeah, we've almost got him. Bruh. Nice. It's only costing us a whole heck of a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Can we take Vienna too? That'd be awesome. Maybe. For now, we don't need to help against the Soviets, so. Jump into the action? Yes, please. And they'll probably do Federal Police Intelligence Department. Bruh. Come on, guys. Hey, we done 1%. I'm feeling pretty good. We lost about 50,000 Swiss men. But whatever. We got Vienna! We did it. We took Vienna. Nice. Go. We can close all these guys up, probably. Take out Dresden, maybe, too. Jump into action. Nice. Really good extensive. Very good, very good. And they died. And let's see what we can take. Well, here's a peace deal, everybody. It's, it's interesting. We have West Germany. Nice pink West Germany. Puppet of the UK. We have East Germany, under, which is puppet of the Soviet Union. And then we have the German Republic. Poland's dead. So we have three Germanys here. But then you find out you have a fourth Germany down here, too. Oh, no, still part of the German Republic. We have Soviet Czechoslovakia. We've got the Hungarian Federal Republic, which is completely independent, by the way. We have Yugoslavia, which is now not aligned. Um, we have British Italy. Italy doesn't even get free. They're just a thing of Britain. Like, that's that's sad. Uh, the Kingdom of Libya. We, Italy, British Italy still owns this, though. Tunisia's up here. Ethiopia's down there. Um, Greece has gotten kind of thicker. They took some boys away from Bulgaria. That's a long Yugoslavia. Um, but then we talk about the mess that is Romania. We have Romania. But then we also have legionary Romania still. But then we have Transylvania. Soviet Romania. And then there's Transylvania. So Transylvania, legionary Romania, Soviet Romania, and Romania. We ha literally have four types of Romanians here. Um, looks like the colonial powers are still specified up like normal. But yeah, uh, we took... Most of Austria, we couldn't quite get Vienna, which really freaking sucks. Really freaking 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 sucks. Um, I know they do that. Um, other than that, what is this? Defense fund drive. Wow, plus forty percent construction speed. Nice. Um, other than that, do we have any more penalties for doing this? No, we no longer got penalties for doing what we did earlier, and that was getting rid of our neutrality. So it is what it is. I know it's not very historical, but I didn't want to go to war with them anyways to see what it would be like, and it was a lot of fun. I'll find Confederation, if you're going to do that, please go ahead, but... Oh, we get a core on everything here. A great country expanded beyond our historical borders, and while the new cantons under wing receive the same status as Schweiz, uh, we must acknowledge new conditions can just study into the Alps. A new democratic power rises, the Alpine Confederation, but... I think that's pretty much where we're going to be there. There's not much else to do for Switzerland as far as I know for this campaign, but... I'm sure I'll play as them again. Ooh. What's your... Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Um, that's pretty much it going to be it for us today. If you enjoyed the campaign, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous Swiss rest of your day.